plum uh, quickly is equal to the ratio of two random variables. Again a classic problem. So we start with the distribution function of z which is z less than or equal to z. But z is given to be probability of x over y is less than or equal to z. So of course if I can bring this y here we can write this as x less than or equal to yz. But the problem is as you know depending on the sign of the y this inequality will get flipped. So we have to consider two cases y positive y negative. So first of all <coughs> this is the line y x equal to y z right. This is the line x equal to y z. Uh, depending on right so the so we have uh, because it's easier to deal with x equal to y x is yeah um, how is this a random variable because doesn't it go to infinity when y equals zero right so the dens the random variable z itself could go to infinity for example look at uh, gaussian oh, Gaussian, right? Gaussian goes from my, not the probability. You are probably think, confused. You were thinking about probability. Probability will be, or the density function will be bound between. Uh, will be a area under the density function will be one, both for the joint density function, and the z. The vari so as it goes to infinity, the naturally the probability will be smaller and smaller. Right? or the area under the density function. So we want to, uh, so look at the, this is the dynamics. We want to bring this random variable here. But if this was an equal sign, there is no problem. You just bring it over. Because it is an inequality, we have to worry about positive and negative. Uh, so we would, uh, what I'm going to do is we know this is the whole region. Y positive I need to worry about separately, Y negative I need to worry about separately. So <coughs> if I define A to be Y positive, uh, A complement is of course Y negative, right? And A union A complement is what? Anybody? Whole set, right? So if I write, if I do an intersection with the whole set here, it doesn't really matter, right? Whole set, nothing, because any even intersection with the whole set is itself, right? So I can write this as probability of x over y less than z intersection with a union a bar. Intersection. So this is like b intersection a plus b intersection a bar, isn't it? So if you read this to be b, is this in uh, right basic probability right so now let me substitute for b b is x over y less than or equal to z and a is what y positive plus <coughs> probability of x over y less than z y negative why did i go to all this uh, trouble look at here when y is positive this y can come over here, right? If y is given to be positive, then I can write this as like this, right? This y coming here is not going to make any difference. What happens here? y is negative. So if I bring this y here, the inequality flips. So this is plus probability of x <coughs> greater than yz when y is negative. Uh, so you, you may not have to go through all these steps, but once it, I, just to be clear, I wrote all these steps. So the next thing is to <coughs> write the, or draw the region. So we have two, so I may as well draw the region so separately. So look at here, this is the region Y positive, right? So first integral says find the region where y is positive and inequality x less than x is less than yz where is that region this is the line x equal to yz because it goes through the origin 
x equal to 0, y is 0. So it goes through the origin. Slope will depend on the value of z. So where is the region x less than yz? To the left of this line and up because of this. So the region we need to integrate on the first integral is this much. So you see drawing the diagrams and splitting the problem makes it very clear. The other one, y negative, so it's here and uh, x greater than yc, x greater than yc would be this region. So if you combine it, if you want, I can draw one diagram. So FCC is going to be, look here, so you can just, you don't have to combine it, but anyway we did it. X goes from here to here, and Y goes from here to here. Here X goes from here to here, and Y goes from here to here. So I'm going to write this as uh, two integrals. So the FXY, X comma Y, first integrate on X, then Y, FXY, x comma y, integrate on x then y. Okay, so here we go. x goes from, hello, minus infinity to where? y z, and y goes from 0 to infinity. Here y goes from minus infinity to 0, and x goes from? No, no look at the, uh, the line. What is this line? y z, so it goes from Minus yz would be a line this way. So, what is it now? Yeah, yz to infinity. So let's take the derivative with respect to z. So look, so zero to infinity. The derivative of this is with respect to z. What do you get? Y then f x y. What is the variable? y z comma y, a derivative of a constant 0, no contribution, derivative with respect to z, no, nothing, so this is dy, a plus this is minus infinity to 0, derivative of the top limit 0, then minus y, then joint density function evaluated it. Y D Y. No other terms, right? Hmm? Oh, look here. A integral in the positive region here it is y c in the negative region this is still y z in the positive region this is a positive y is positive in this region this y will be positive or negative in this region this will be negative but minus y will be so do you see this What do I put here? Mod? So you see this? You don't have to, but you can simplify it because whether it is positive or negative region, this is always absolute value of y. Okay, so you take few seconds to pause it and see whether everything is written. This is perfectly fine, but if you want to simplify, this is fine too, right? All right, so that's the answer. So let me do a quick example. You can do more complicated examples. X, Y are independent, same thing as we had before. Uh, Gaussian, uh, zero mean, 
equal variance. So equal to sigma squared. So let me substitute it here. So this reads minus infinity to plus infinity, absolute value of y, 1 over 2 pi sigma squared. Let me take sigma squared to be 1. So sigma squared is 1. e raised to minus x squared plus y squared. Instead of x squared, y squared is z squared plus y squared. Then what? Okay, very good. Then dy, right? So this is, uh, first of all, before I proceed, I see that this is y squared, this is y squared, this is absolute value of y. Everything is even. So as you said, if you want, I can write this as 2 times the integral from 0 to infinity. So let me write it here. Uh, so FCC would be 2, 2 cancels, 1 over pi, integral from 0 to infinity. Now I don't need absolute value, right? Why? Because that region is only positive, so I don't need absolute value anymore. And this is, uh, let, uh, I can pull out what? C squared outside, y squared. So this is 1 plus z squared y squared dy. So to simplify this, I'm going to call u, u equal to 1 plus z squared multiplied by y squared. So this is going to be, so du is going to be 1 plus z squared multiplied by 2y dy. So y dy will be du over 2 multiplied by 1 plus z squared. Oh, I forgot that 2, isn't it? There is a 2 here. So let me also put the 2 here. There is a 2 here. So there is a 2 here, 2, 2 cancels. So it is y dy is, so this now reads 1 over pi. In uh, Limits are the same when u is, y is 0, u is 0, y is infinity, u is infinity. Uh, so we have y dy, y dy is du by <coughs> 1 plus z squared, then you have e raised to minus uh, u du, right. This goes outside because it's a constant, so you get the answer to be but e raised to minus du is 1. So the answer is 1 over pi divided by 1 plus z squared. Anybody remembers this form? Cauchy. So look at here, the z, because x and y are goes from minus infinity to plus infinity, the ratio also goes from minus infinity to plus infinity. So z goes from minus infinity to plus infinity. But if you plot the density function, it looks like this, right? So as, this is what I was trying to say, as z goes to infinity, the, the probability in that region is extremely small, but it is a fat tail compared to Gaussian because it's only decreasing quadratically. So here is a theorem for you. If you have x and y as independent Gaussian zero mean random variables, then the ratio is Cauchy. Actually, you should, uh, if you, even if you relax all these conditions, still Cauchy. So that's, uh, you should do. So long as they are jointly Gaussian. If they are jointly Gaussian, and then the ratio is uh, Cauchy. Unlike the Rayleigh case, Rayleigh, you need all the conditions to be in place. 